The possibility of miscarriage is so traumatic that the work of the medical team, based at Leicester Royal Infirmary, could present a major advance in gynaecology. The pilot study measured levels of a naturally occurring cannabis, or anandamide, present in women suffering from bleeding in early pregnancy. Those who miscarried had higher levels. These compounds um, have been shown in animals to be crucial to successful uh, pregnancies. They appear to be the molecules that, um, uh, in a way, um, affect communication between the developing embryo and the lining of the womb to ensure that the lining of the womb reaches a stage where it can accept the pregnancy and at the same time ensuring that the baby has developed to such a stage where it can embed in the lining of the womb properly. The study was confined to 45 women, but the implications are considerable. It is the first known case of such a study. Measuring the levels of anandamide could be the strongest indicator available of a woman's likelihood of a miscarriage. For us, it is exciting in the sense that we may be able to identify a subgroup of women who may require something to either intervene to reduce the risk of miscarriage occurring or to at least to challenge us to do more research to find out why the levels of this particular molecule are higher in these women and whether we can alter these levels we could stop these women from miscarrying. Such a test would at least give pregnant women more information about their prospects. It wouldn't necessarily be good news for all but it does offer the chance of reducing uncertainty. I guess it would mean that if you had a blood test that would be able to tell you whether you're more or less likely to miscarry because sometimes the scans can't tell you. Um, it would be, well, put your mind at rest and allay some of the worries you have at the time when you're bleeding. This is the first step but the team in Leicester are looking to go beyond. Developing a simple test that would be easily available is the major objective recording levels of the anandamide molecules and, consequently, creating a course of treatment. Once we've done that, and the next step would be to try and understand the mechanisms that are involved in this particular molecule being raised, i.e. what regulates these molecules. We have an idea of what is going on, but I think at this early stage it would be very difficult for us to divide our attention in trying to understand what is going on and at the same time trying to prove the concept. The first thing would be to confirm our observations and then take a step back and say, why is this happening? Once we've understood that process, then the next question would be, what can we do to intervene? In comparison with previous tests, measuring anandamide levels has the advantage of assessing whole blood rather than requiring separation. In this process, the Leicester team are developing a major advance in pregnancy treatment.